Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today in this video we have a GAN Quick Charger by Basis. Um, this has three ports, two Type-C and one USB-A output. And uh, you can see the specs here. It goes up to 65 watts max, which is really good because it could charge a MacBook or any laptop with a Type-C port extremely fast, which is really well. Um, it has, it says right here, it has a 90 degree foldable plug and some other protection. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's get into it. So this retails for about $50 on Amazon, somewhere around there. The price may vary. Um, I will have a 20% off code in the description as well. So you can save money on this. So here it is. Let's put the box to the side. And uh, we have the adapter itself. We're gonna put that to the side for a little bit. And we have some manuals and information. Let's go ahead and, pretty sure there's English in here. Right here it says Chinese, but maybe in the inside there will be English. Yep, there's English. Okay. So this is just a warranty card. That's good. And then right here it says a thank you card. And it tells you to follow them on WeChat. And then right here you have a user manual. Which is really good. It's in English and in Chinese. So you can go and read that. It's going to put these to the side. Let's get into the charger. So here's the charger. Like I said, it's a 65 watt. So it's really nice. It's nicely wrapped. Let's go ahead and take this out. I know there's a little tab here. I can see it, but I can't get it with gloves. So I'm gonna do the risky thing and cut it. Got it, all right. Okay, good, it didn't leave a scratch. So, right here you have a little label here. The first Type-C outputs at 65 watts or 45 watts max. The second one is for your phone and it charges at 30 watts or 18 watts max, depending on your phone, how fast it can charge. And then the third one is for also a phone that if you don't have a USB type C output or input to output then um, you can use a USB A which is really good so this is really nice compact design you have a nice 90 degree prongs right here that are foldable doesn't feel cheap nice sturdy mechanism here and then right here you have this more specs on the bottom go ahead and read that and then you have a logo right here which is really cool. And then on the top it's gloss. And then right here it's a nice matte plastic. And then right here it just says 65 watt GAN quick charge model number. And then the manufacturing. So we're gonna go ahead and um, plug this in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and show you the capabilities of it. All right, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Right here, there is an indication light, and it will turn on, and you'll be able to see that it's working. So, I'm going to plug it in. There we go. And it is green slash blue. On the camera, it looks blue, but in person, it's like a green bluish. But it looks really nice. That's really cool. So, right, the first one, right, like I said, is quick charge 3.0 at 30 watts max to 18 watts. And then the second one is the same thing, both are phone. Uh, these two both are for phone, and then the top one is for a laptop. It charges at 65 watts max, and then the other one, which is like 45, I believe. So this is really cool. It's really nice, compact. I really like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test the charging speeds, and uh, I'll get back to you. So I'll be back. All right, first we're gonna do a size comparison. 
So this is the Google Pixel 3a quick charging adapter. It only has one port. It doesn't have full little prongs. It's only 18 watts max. So as you can see, it is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. It's taller. It's a little bit wider, but for the extra power and the extra ports, definitely worth it. Right here we have the T-Core fast charger. Again, one port. This is a type C one port. This one does have foldable prongs. These, this one is a little bit more louder and a little bit more sturdy than this one. But as you can see, this one is massive. And I don't remember how much this one does. This one does, I think, I think 18 watts. I'm not sure. So yeah, this one has foldable prongs. This one's pretty nice. These are both fast chargers. And then this one right here, the traditional Apple charger, which are not a, I know a lot of my viewers will be Apple users. Um, so I'm just gonna compare it to this. As you can see, that's gonna be the difference. So it's about two and a half to three of these Apple chargers in height. And then about one Google Pixel 3 charger and then one of these. So it's not really big. It's nice and slim, guys. Gonna, gonna tell you that. I would definitely be taking this anywhere I go. I'm gonna go on a travel uh, not a travel, <laughs> vacation soon in March. So I'll be taking this and I'll be able to charge my phone and some of my other family members' phone and whoever else really fast. So it's able to charge three things at once and uh, it'll obviously split out the uh, 65 watts and divide it into three. Uh, the top one being the most and then the other two will just divide it. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's really good. Um, so these are all one ports. This one is USB type A because Apple sucks and they don't know how to do type C. Um, this one is type C because it's fast and Google's smart. Uh, by the way, I'm just, just saying that because it's, it's true. Like it's 2020 and we're getting freaking five volt, volt, even though they did step up their game and finally do something similar to this. but you have to pay like a thousand dollars for it and then the t-core one right there so yeah i'm gonna do a speed test on the comparison of all of these um just a little estimate i'm gonna guess this one takes two to three hours to fully charge from zero to a hundred and then this one if you were to charge an apple device we're gonna just say that um, I an iPhone 11 from zero to a hundred in about an hour. Same with this one, probably a little bit more. This one, since it's 65 at 40 watts max for phone, I believe, it'll charge in about less than an hour. So definitely time consuming, especially if you're on the go, you just plug it in, put your iPhone in, boom, you're, you're done for the day. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.